Hi there. Um, I'm just out in my van uh, with my little heater that I run to warm it up with my 280 watt solar panel that I have on the roof. Um, and I wanted to show you an example of yet another MPPT charge controller that could not find the maximum power point of a panel. So this is your panel voltage. This is how many watts are going into your battery. This panel that I've got up here is a 60 cell panel and its maximum power point is about 32 volts. Since this is only able to uh, pull 15 volts out of that, we're losing about 17 volts, which is an enormous amount of power. This really only happens to these charge controllers under low light, but that's the absolute worst time for that to happen because you have to have your power when the light is the lowest. That's when you want it the most, and you don't want half of your power going away. I've noticed this with lots of different charge controllers. Uh, the um, I quit using the e-tracers or any of the tracer series because most all of them did it. Uh, I've even seen uh, Midnight Solar Kids do it. Uh, I use the SRN e-charge controllers now because they don't. Uh, they're able to function properly and maintain it. So this, okay, what that just did was it was pulling the voltage so low on that that it just decided to reset. And what this one does is it resets every couple of minutes too. And sometimes it will reset in a way that it lets it stay at really low power for a really long time, um, just like that one was doing. You can see now we're getting 13, 12, 13 watts. Oh, and the voltage should stay at like 32 what's going on right now is it's hunting around for the voltage okay and it's just going to keep going down 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 and which is the problem because the light just went away now we're down to 20.7 19 18 we've lost most of our power okay uh because that should be all the way up at about 32 like it was so probably what this is going to do is go through a um a cycle there you go same deal went through a cycle. I was just about to say that. It went to, it turned itself off, went back up to where it should be. It's searching around. It's going down. It can't find the maximum power point. My wattage up is up at about 14, 15. It's going down. It's going down. You're going to also notice as that happens, the wattage will pro will likely go down. Um, if there, So we don't want charge controllers to do this. It is one of the very first things I check for in a charge controller. Um, and uh, I have not seen much as far as dialogue regarding this. So you can see we're all the way down to 17 volts. It's making nine, seven, nine watts, 16 volts. There goes most of our power. I, um, and there you go, it reset again, zero watts. It's reading the open circuit voltage. Now it goes down to the maximum power point voltage. It's found it. We're, our watts are up. Our voltage is starting to, is fairly high, but it's starting to go down. You can see our wattage is starting to go down as our voltage goes down. And eventually what's going to, it's just going to cycle that way. What it should do is stay up at about, see, there you go, down, down, down. There goes all my powers, all my power, which is my watts. It's down around 17 volts. It's probably just going to cycle like that off on off on. But the really bad part about this is that it's going to spend most of its time in the wrong place, which is down around 15 volts up. Oh, there you go. Turns it off. It's going to sit there. It's now it's making absolutely no power. Um, and there we go. It's where it should be about 14 watts. And it's just going to go down and it's going to drop and drop and drop, searching for the maximum power point, which is way higher than that. It's about 32 volts. Our wattage is slowly going to diminish and go down to where it was about half of what it was. And we have lost half our power in the time when we need it the most. My name's Miles. Uh, Light Harvest Solar is my company. Uh, we have a off-grid retail store in Portland, Oregon. And um, we are happy to help you with your off-grid solar project. Thanks so much.